Step number six is the in and up. This is to the existing carrier and to the benefit specialist. We created this step because we understand at NESB as a new agent, you're gonna feel overwhelmed with all the information you're learning about this process. Life insurance is a lot. There's a lot of carriers, there's a lot of products that you're gonna learn over time. But that's exactly it. It's over time. By having it in and up, you can rely on the expertise of your managers to provide support in the beginning of this process. It takes the pressure off of you and it puts it on the expert that knows all the possible options. When you lean on the expertise of the benefit specialist, you increase your placement and your persistency ratios as an agent. Y'all, it's a no brainer. We want your senior to get approved the first time with the best policy for them, not the hundredth time. So what can we do here to ensure that this step is met? Prep your client before you contact their existing insurer. Make sure they're prepared to give their personal information to the customer service agent. We don't want to go off of assumptions. We want to go off of the facts with their current policy. Here's a pro tip. Hand your business card to the client so they know how to pronounce your name when they speak to that customer service representative. This allows you to speak on their behalf about their policy. Let the existing carrier reveal the truth about the policy. Clients need to hear it directly from the source since they've been paying their premiums to them for all these years. Once you have all the information, send a message to your in and up benefit specialist text thread. Screenshot that client intake data sheet and then also the policy review sheet and you are in business. They're gonna give you a two thumbs up. You're gonna tell your potential client, good news, Ms. Johnson, I think you may have an opportunity to maximize your final expenses. I have an idea of how, and I wanna get our benefit specialist on the line to guide us. You're gonna put your phone on speakerphone. Edify that specialist by sharing the medical diagnoses and policy review details. Then you're gonna ask your benefit specialist on speakerphone, how can we maximize Jack's final expense portfolio? You guys, the benefit specialist will take it from there to ensure that your client's needs are met with the right policy based on their age and their health. Here's my business card so you know Ashley Kali, your benefits coordinator, all mm -hmm. right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and call Smith National Life and we're just gonna verify this information and you're gonna hear the truth from them because I know you just met me today, but it's vital that you hear from them what type of insurance you have and it, mm -hmm. we need validation as to how long the life of this policy has left. I'm hoping it's years, I really hope that. Mm -hmm. And we can also make sure we can check on your beneficiary. Um, I don't know if you've updated your primary beneficiary um, since the passing I of Barbara. To my children, you're right. Okay, cool, excellent. We'll double check, make sure all that's updated for your life insurance. So hold on one second. Let me go ahead and get their phone number real quick. I see it right here. Okay, bear with me one second and I'll write all this stuff down and I'll keep it on speakerphone, okay? All right, bear with me one second. So they might have to verify just a couple pieces of information too, okay? Okay. Um, kind of like your name. They might even ask for your birthday, maybe your social, so you have all that information and they'll, um, you just give them authorization to speak with me, okay? All right, bear okay. with me one second, and here we go, all right. Hello? Hey, is this Smith National? It is. Excellent, fantastic. I am actually sitting here with Mr. Bob Ward. He has a life insurance policy with you, and the policy number is BU153271. I'm Ashley Kali, his benefits coordinator. I will go ahead and hand the phone to him so he can give you authorization to speak with me, okay? Sure. Hey, yes, I give you guys uh, permission to speak with Ashley. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent, fantastic. Um, what type of insurance is this? Yep, just got that pulled up. It is universal life. Okay, so it is not whole mm -hmm. life, correct? Correct. Okay, um, when was the effective date of this? Uh, I believe it was issued in May of 2014. Okay. And the face amount? 25000 Okay. And then the monthly premium? About 150 a month. 150 And then what's the current cash value? Uh, that's 800 $800. And I see that the draft date uh, looks like it's the 28th of every single month. And what is, there's no loans on this policy, correct? No. Okay. Um, what's the current cost of insurance? 350 Okay. 
So it's three hundred and fifty dollars is the cost of insurance. Yeah. Yep. That's oh what we got. gosh. Okay. Um. So based on the cash value and this high cost of insurance, it looks like it's taking about two hundred dollars a month from this policy. So. Here's a crazy question, sir. What happens when there's no more cash value in this bucket for Bob? Um, well, uh, no easy way to say this, but it, it really just terminates. So that's probably about it. So he's got probably about four months left on this policy and then it terminates? I believe so, unfortunately. Mm, really? Okay. That's impossible. Um, well, thank you so much, sir. Uh, have a blessed day. So you definitely mm. have a universal life policy. And how does that make you feel? Mm, like I've uh, been tricked. Okay, so I'm really, really sorry to bear this uh, bad news to you, but here's the great news, okay? Is we're gonna do everything we can to make this right. Okay, here's the great news, is mm. that you've got $800 of cash value. Um, so there's still life inside this policy. Um, this is what we're gonna do. Based on you know, the lisinopril, you only have one blood pressure medication. I do believe that we have an opportunity to really make this correct, all right, and make mm. it right, so that way you have peace of mind and security, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, would you like for me to find that out for yeah, you? Yeah, please. Okay, great, so I'm gonna go ahead and call our benefit specialist. Uh, bear with me one second, and they're going to be able to assist us um, with kind of gearing us into the right direction here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, just bear with me one second. Hello? Hey, uh, Riley. Ashley, how are you? I'm doing awesome. I am actually sitting here with Mr. Bob Ward, and we just got off of um, Smith National Life, and we just found out that he has a universal life policy. So we okay. we know that you're the specialist when it comes to definitely universal life policies, and he is super duper healthy. He is age 65. Oh, I'm sorry, 64. 64. And okay. um, so with him being 64, he only has one blood pressure medication. Super duper healthy. No medical diagnosis whatsoever, non-tobacco, and his premium currently right now with Smith National, he's got okay. he's paying $150 a month. It's a $25,000 death benefit, but the cost of insurance is at $350. So I know, and the cash value is only at $800 right now. Miss Riley, um, I've got you on speakerphone here with Mr. Bob, and uh, what do you think we can do to maximize this current situation? Hey, Mr. Bob, how are you doing today? Hey, Riley. Thank you for being available. Yeah, of course. Um, it definitely sounds like we should be able to help him out. I'm really glad that you're there, Ashley. Um, so when it comes to those types of plans, um, I'm really glad that you caught it. It looks like um, he's currently paying, what was that? $150 a month. $150, right. Okay. So um, it definitely sounds like he is eligible for um, a p upgrade into a permanent coverage plan Ooh, that is not going, that is not going to um, increase on him in price and it will build and generate a cash value. So what would be our next step from here? So I would recommend looking at a couple of options based off Mr. Uh, Ward's goals and okay. his budget and what he is trying to accomplish. It's very important um, that y'all caught that policy when it did before it depleted yeah. that cash value. Yeah. If he is if he is approved for that upgrade into a permanent plan with Mutual of Omaha, okay. you will be able to get him the remaining cash value back in the form of a check. Nice. But we have to see if he is medically approved okay. before doing so. Okay, great. Because then there's really nothing to think about, right? Correct. Excellent. So Correct. next step would probably go ahead and uh, start the paperwork to see what he would be able to be medically approved for. Correct. And then if y'all have any questions that pop up, Y'all can feel free to give me a quick call back. Oh, thanks, Riley. We super duper appreciate it. Any other questions for Riley? No, that's good so far. Yes. Hey, thanks, Riley. I super appreciate you. <laughs>